Alright, welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to get your graphics to go back to how they originally were. Now from PUBG last updated with the Livid map, the OnePlus 7 Pro have not been getting the max amount of frames that it's supposed to get. So the max settings for a 60 FPS has to be on smooth and normally you could get 60 FPS on HDR. So today I'm going to show you how to get back that 60 FPS using HDR because PUBG is really doing a lot of bad things these days and they're having a lot of problems and I don't know, they don't seem to be fixing them. Alright, so let's jump right into the video. Alright, the app for this that we're going to use is called PUBG gfx tool but the thing is this pubg gfx tool it's free but there is a pro version so you're not going to download it off play store so what you're going to do is download it off google chrome all right so i already reached this step already so let me go back because i want you guys to, to see everything all right so when you click on the link I'm going to put in the description, you're going to be taken to this page. All right, so you're going to scroll and you're going to click here, download. All right, when you click that download, it's going to take you to this page. So some people might have not seen the download button, but I have to show you right here. So. What you're going to do next is click right here where it says PUBG GFX tool for Android and then that little pop-up comes down in the install. It's going to take you to this next page again and you're going to scroll and wait for that for the download to come up and then you're going to click download. Um, yes, this type of file can harm your device, da da da, you just click OK. Guys, when you see this pop up it doesn't mean that the file is a virus it's just me it's just android telling you that you're downloading um an application from an outside source so they're just warning you that it's a potential harm to your device it's not it's not saying that the file is a virus or anything so you're just gonna click ok when it's downloaded you click open and you click install for some devices you may have to go in settings and allow unknown sources but um, I think everyone's supposed to know to do that. All right, so when you're in the application now, you're going to click on game variant and make sure it's on global, not beta, not light, not China, global. All right, then you're going to go into basic graphics. The resolution, um, I'm not sure what to tell you guys about this, but for my phone, the resolution I put it in is 1080 times 720. You can try all of them, but the thing is, say for instance, they put it in 1920 times 1080. Like the PUBG is going to look a lot smaller, and and the icons on PUBG are going to be a lot smaller. Everything. When I put it on 1080 times 720p, I get the exact same screen to body ratio with the game that it's supposed to be. So you're gonna then click on graphics, then click on HDR gonna click on FPS and click on 90 then you're gonna click on classic and choose anything what you want shadow enable all right you these that's all you basically have to do but if you want to max out your graphics for PUBG then you just go ahead and you just turn all those things to high which I'm gonna do turn that up make sure that's enabled and don't trouble anything below there next thing you're going to do is go in here this is if you want to higher graphics graphics rendering level turn it to high advance turn object lod distance to high material lod distance to high detail mode enable advance detail mode level times two enable light effects advantage i mean um what was here that will yeah that was here hi and we're going to go to 
advanced we're going to turn on memory boost we're going to leave the rest of these things alone because if you turn on zero lag mode that is going to reverse everything we just did so that's that's not necessary and experimental graphics we don't trouble anything in this all right so once you've done this you don't have to do this every time you open the app it's saved so once you've done this one time it's saved unless you go ahead and change something again all right so what we're actually going to do now is click apply so when you click here there is nothing there just rate and more and stuff that's not important so you're going to click apply all right so let me show you first the graphics without the thing so you know in jamaica here we have to turn on the vpn because pubg is not being the best game right now in terms of problem fixing so turn on our vpn then we locate pubg all right so um, I'm wondering, I don't think I have to show you guys it before and right, I'm just going to do it for the sake of the video. Alright, so this is PUBG currently without the GFX tool. Alright, so as you guys know that it's going to be the, it's going to be the, hold on. As I was saying, like, um, as you can see, it's smooth and extreme. Balance can go extreme HD, can go extreme HD, can go extreme. So this is how it's currently without the JFX tool. So what I'm going to do is reload it with the JFX tool. So I'm going to PUBG, the settings that we did a while ago are still there as i said they won't change and all you're going to do is click apply so when you click apply click run game it's going to start all right the reason why the, it's on it when i put it on hdr with 90 fps in the pubg gfx tool is because when when you put it on something like hd and anything you put it, it cannot go higher than what it, than what it is. So it's best to set that HDR with 90 FPS. You can do 60 FPS too to conserve the battery, but I like it in 90 FPS. Alright, um, guys, what's your view on this suit and this bag? Alright, so we'll see if we're going to graphics. So let's test it now. And boom, HDR and extreme. Right, so this is after applying the PUBG GFX tool. So you can go to HD and Extreme, Balance and Extreme, Smooth and Extreme. So you just pick whatever style you want it to be in. And thing and boom, that's there you go. So you're back with your PUBG on HD and Extreme with 60 FPS. In this case, I have 90 FPS. But that's it, guys.